Okay, gamers and gamers, what is going on? My name is Tanuk127, and welcome back to another Skyforge Nintendo Switch video. And in today's video, I'm going to give you guys a little um, tutorial on some settings I recommend that will help slow down your crashes, disconnects, and stuff like that. Now, um, first and foremost, I do want to give you guys a big fat disclaimer. Um, if you check the Skyforge Nintendo Switch Discord, the devs have already um, acknowledged the Switch crashes, saying they're working on it, looking into it, and stuff like that. And also, they've also acknowledged the sound glitch, which is that annoying stuttering you'll get sometimes when you're in heavy combat and stuff. Um, if you guys think about think back about a few months ago to the FAQ and one of the dev vlogs that I covered on Skyforge for Nintendo Switch, the devs did mention that one of the biggest challenges that they had with the um, with porting the game to Switch was something about the sound design because of the console's limited amount of RAM. So I think that probably plays a part in the whole um, in the whole sound glitch thing. That's just my speculation. I'm no game developer. But anyway, here's what you guys probably want to see. So there are some settings here in the graphical settings for the game that I personally tuned down some, and it hasn't stopped my crashes. It hasn't stopped my disconnects. But... It's slowed them down a lot. Now, keep in mind, guys, I'm somebody who plays on a wired connection with a pretty decent internet connection, so this may not 100% help everybody, but I do want to try and give you guys the best advice I can here. So the first and foremost thing I did was um, I went here into, uh, into additional graphics. Um, the only thing I have personally enabled is full screen, is full screen effects. I turned off... Depth of field, bloom effect, and chromatic aberrations. Um, even if you want to, it may help some too. Turning off the full screen effects as well, especially in some of those open world areas. Now, one thing I will say is I do think the crashes are a lot more connection based rather than game quality and optimization based. Because I don't know if you guys noticed, but especially you guys who are playing in early access. Notice how they got a lot worse after the game went free to play, <laughs> but that's just that, that's just um that that's just my my personal opinion. Now, if you come over here into game, there's a lot of other stuff you can change down here too. Um, for one, I have always said and I even did this when Neverwinter first came out on the PS4. Camera shake adds so much disruption and crazy crap on your screen. I turn that all the way down. I hate camera shaking my MMOs anyway. I turned the graphical impact to one fourth. I turned the full screen strike effects to one fourth. I also reduced the size of my damage indicator so that way you know it's not a billion large numbers that I can clearly see popping up all over my face. I just shrunk them down some. But yeah, those are just some of the few things I did to, um, to help me, you know, reduce disconnects and stuff like that. And the only other thing that I did here as well, and I'll find out for you guys, was I disabled voice chat. Now, me personally, I did this because everyone that I play with, we all use third-party apps for chatting anyway. But think about it. If connection base is actually part of the issue that's causing the crashes here, don't you think your game trying to voice chat with every single person you party up with and everything probably plays a little bit of part in that? I'm just, I'm just saying me for MMOs, I'm mostly a text chat kind of guy. Or if I really need to talk to people, I use a third-party app like Discord or something like that anyway. So I usually don't enable voice chat in my MMOs. But that's just me. I'm just saying turning that off and using some type of third-party option may be a good idea, at least temporarily, just for the time being. But that's just my personal opinion. But anyway, guys, if any of these settings help you, play with them. Play with some of the settings lower. Mess around with some of the visual settings and stuff like that in the game. See if it um if it helps you out and makes anything better. I know it's not going to be perfect because, like I said, the game just came out. And chances are they are using this weekend for a stress test to collect data so they can actually identify the problem. And that's pretty common about how, you know, a lot of free-to-play games do things. But honestly, guys, I would probably look at this weekend as a stress test. And we'll probably get an update on what they plan to do about the crashes, disconnects, and stuff like that sometime within the next week or two. But anyway, guys, if this helped you, let me know down in the comments below. And if you got any other tips that might help reduce others from crashing and disconnects, be sure to leave in the comments as well. If you all enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tanek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care.